interested and amazed at whatever it is you have on your screen here. It's, uh, it looks really cool. I love copper coils. We got a different screen share here. You have a yeah, photo? Yeah, share some pictures first. Okay. Four or five months ago, I was watching a, a Carrie Ellis uh, YouTube uh, interview with uh, Jackie down in the States, and they, uh, she's the gal there down there that's also experimenting with carbagravs. But she's also one of these people who uh, are sensitive to the fields, and she actually uses dowsing rods to determine how far out the field is from, say, from her car, car mag grab units. So with ordinary tap water, making her gants from ordinary tap water, um, you know, the salt water in the gants, her mag grab fields on the car units were out about 20 feet. Okay, that's with the dowsing rods detecting them. And then she, then they energized their tap water by uh, putting, this is a hard one to see, I need, needed more light on this, but what I've done is I've taken a, a quarter inch plastic tube, filled it with uh, uh, zinc and carbon dioxide gants with uh, uh, just a milliliter of uh, CH3 and a milliliter of, of uh, H2 in there. That's why it's, uh, they got this brownish color. And I just wrapped that 25 foot length of, uh, of uh, plastic tubing around my, my water pipe coming into the house. So, so that's about a two foot length before it turns here sideways, goes to the meter that I got this wrapped around. And uh, just a little closer look. And then uh, that's the end there. And the ends of these tubes, I just got them you know, taped on and uh, they're just plugged with, uh, with hot melt glue. Now, before I put this on the water pipe, uh, the Okotoks uh, city water here is, uh, has a, a pH of uh, 7.3. And uh, after I put this on, the pH of my water is 7.6. So I went up 0.3 on my pH just with this simple little you did a, a number of tests on, on your water initially to make sure it was at that level and so on. Is that part of the process? Or? Yeah, uh, pretty... it was it was seven, about 7.3 about a month ago. Yeah. And then and, and tonight, I uh, before I put this on, I just put this on tonight. I, mm -hmm. I calibrated my pH meter and, uh, and, and did, tested it again, and it was yeah. 7.3. Oh, wow. So, yeah, and then, and then and right after you did dog. this, right after you did this, no preparation or no uh, setting time or anything. You just uh, right after you put it together, you did another test. Is that the way it went? Yep, yep. So after I took uh -huh. that pH test, I went downstairs and wrapped this around the pipe, and yeah. then I just before the meeting here, I came back up and uh, ran the water for a while and got seven point six. Well, that's pretty incredible. Okay, so this is step one of the process. Um, uh, step two is uh, to actually get run your water through some copper pipes and uh, in in the bucket of gants. Okay, so so this was my my copper pipes. You gonna pin me back on there, Rick? Okay, so I got a three three quarter inch uh, diameter uh, water line coming into the house, and I thought these were half inch, and two half inches would would have given me a three quarter uh, equivalent volume of three quarter inch. But uh, I misread the when I bought this; it said half inch on the on the on the copper, but uh, it was actually half inch outside diameter, so it was three eighths. So I got to do two. Yeah, all in uh, in uh, parallel so that I can get my volume of water back into the house. So the idea is, those are my copper coils. Uh, to bend these, what you do is you uh, fill the, the tubing with water and put it in a freezer and let it freeze. And then you can bend the pipe. Uh, this inside one was bent around a four inch ABS pipe. And then the, the outside one was bent around a six inch uh, piece of chimney pipe. 
Ah, that's a great idea with the water. I've done it before with sand, but that's a lot more hassle. Hmm. Yeah, well, the sand work. Sand works the pipe, but when you got a, you know, a this is fifty foot long pipe, it's hard to get all the sand in there. So that's right. So, so the idea is this is going to go in the bucket. These these copper pipes and the inside of the bucket, and everything are going to get nano coated, and. Uh, Right now, I I got a problem. I got to adjust something to get that to fit in the thing, and then uh, and then there'll be a manifold up here, and uh, it'll tie, you know, go into one side and out the other, back to my house line. Get in there. But as I say, now I got to get a second one, so I'll have two of these buckets in side by side to get the volume of water that I need, so I'm not uh, slowing the water down going into the house. I see. I know. How did the pipes go again? You've got, what, four pipes coming out of there from the two coils? And are, how is it connected underneath and so on? Does it all go through? It's just a, a, a riser going up. So so basically the water's going to go, say, the out, outside coil, the water's going to go in and up and out back to the house. And then, then on the other coil, it goes in and around and back to the house. They're, 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 they're in parallel. Just okay. the ones in each other to, to fit in the bucket. That, Just for the bucket. They're not connected to each other, so it goes through one yeah. and then the other one. I see. I think the training we had a year ago showed us that with a coil that was in, in one great big long line up, one long line, okay? Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. just trying to make them to go into a bucket. It may have some effect between the two coils. I mean, you have a coil inside of a coil. It, it is a, an electrical <laughs> configuration, a plasmatic configuration. So perhaps the yeah. plasma the, flowing through will have a amplifying effect of some sort. It's possible. But yeah. I see what you're doing. You're doing it for flow, so you, you've doubled the flow in one bucket and double it in the other one, so you're trying to get back to your original flow in your house through That's all right. that. That's right, so I get three-quarter inch pipe, pipes worth of water flowing through here. Right. Now, going through in a, a spiral here in the coil, you're, we're getting into, I don't know, if there's a scientist called Schaum, Schaumberger who... Schaumberger, yeah. Schaumberger, okay, and uh, that energizes the water too, just just uh, getting the water to flow in a coil mm -hmm. so that's a good thing and and I'm thinking here now I, I if I put my ganses right I should be able to get an infinity loop between these two buckets mm -hmm. and maybe even if I put a ball in the center of this coil mm -hmm. I can get an infinity loop between the ganses in the bucket and the infinity between the buckets and then another infinity between the the ball and the gants in here so I you should be able to get something good going <laughs> yeah, maybe you can uh, generate uh, power by putting a coil on your water pipes and yeah, well, just draw I, I off the power what, anywhere we'll in the that, house but... where the water pipes are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, it's going to be interesting how how energetic my water is. Yeah, so, so anyway, that, after, that's great. Mm -hmm. After Jackie did this in her house, and, uh, and then they made the, the, the gants out of this, of the energized water, or they made the salt water when they were making gants out of the energized water. The field on her car mag grav went out to 200 feet, from 20 feet to 200 feet, okay? And then she started reusing the salt water, like she'd make a batch of gants, she'd save the salt water and use it for the next batch of gants, save the salt water, use it for the next batch of gants. So she sort of tripled her uses of the salt water and she says they drove away, drove their car away from the the car megrav, and it was five miles out when they detected the the end of the of the fields. <laughs> so are you saying things were changed in the car megrav, or just in the environment changed well, the, the, the car the gants they made the, the gants they made that they you know dipped their coils in for the car megrav was more energetic oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I get okay? It. Mm -hmm. and was putting out a bigger field so so number one if you if you start with energized water you can you have quite a larger more energetic gants uh, and get more energy out of it and number two if you start reusing your salt water from you know one gants production to the next basically save your salt water and reuse it 
you can again increase the energy of your ganses. So that that's my goal is to get uh, higher power ganses because maybe that'll be one of the one of the secrets.